Well guys, it's officially been two years since I've started uploading videos consistently to YouTube, uh, and I want to start off by saying thank you for the best two years of my life. Uh, so last year, for the one year uh, anniversary, I guess you could call it, uh, I sat at my bear barrel on Red Feather Falls, and I thought for this year uh, we'd go with a similar theme, and we came here to Valdebois uh, to hunt this bear barrel, which it seems like there's only one here. Uh, I've not seen any others. So if he'll stop at any point, we're going to try to take him out with the Winter Camo Pulsar. Just over 40 meters. Looks like we made a solid hit. Probably intestines. Uh, but I keep hitting body when I'm shooting far forward, so I tried to keep it back a bit. I've seen a couple of decent red deer. And roe deer. Hope those roe didn't leave my render. They may have. Nah, oh, I see him. They didn't quite make it out of render, but they got pretty close. Give them another couple of calls. So yeah, it's officially been two years, and it's been crazy. Our bear just tipped over. To think that it's been two years since that started, I still remember the non-typical that started everything when uh, I just was playing on my old laptop, <coughs> sitting on my couch, and I had a nice non-typical whitetail coming in at the center tower on Logger's Point. I decided to record it because I had bandy cam from trying to start a channel in the past, <coughs> and then after that, for some reason, I decided to stick with it, and here we are, two years later. And a whole lot more non-typicals later. And what, 250 videos later? That's a lot. Over the course of two years, uh, for the past year and a half roughly, we've had an upload schedule. Uh, and I'm proud to say that I haven't missed a video on that. I've been late on some, like, with the older schedule when I was just uploading, like, the night before... And it would just go live whenever, uh, when it got fully uploaded. Those sometimes were late, but we never had anything completely missed, which is definitely nice. This red deer looks pretty decent. He's down. But yeah, it's been a fantastic two years. And again, thank you all so much for that, for all the support uh, on the channel and just everything. As I always say, every like, comment, share, subscription, everything means so much to me, so I really do appreciate that. Uh, so, of course, I do want to give back to the community, and one way I've done that in the past is with these subscriber hunts, and I want to bring them back, and I want to do them in a slightly different fashion. Uh, the way I was doing it, I was getting all the names and putting them into a drawing, and then they would stay there for every drawing. Uh, and it's at the point now where there's 100 and something names, almost 200. Uh, and I know some of the names are no longer viewers of the channel. Uh, so that prolongs getting things done. Like when I draw someone that is not any longer a viewer, I have to wait. I wait about a week usually till I get a response. Uh, and then when I realize that they don't respond, then I would draw another one. That should have been a good hit. He shouldn't go far at all. Maybe? I thought for sure we hit him in the lungs. Okay. That's interesting. So, I've thought of a couple different ways uh, to go about doing the subscriber hunts. One is through Twitter. Uh, I could tweet out, retweet this to be entered in the subscriber hunt. Uh, every time that I do one, uh, and that way it's always going to be current, uh, and you would have to do it every time, but it's not a difficult thing to do, uh, just simply qu click retweet and you're good to go uh, for that drawing, uh, that way I don't have to try to make sure I get everyone's name in and stuff, because I didn't, it wasn't always in the comments, which is what I did in the past. Uh, sometimes I'd get them through the Hunter messages, sometimes actually in a multiplayer game, 
uh, and I'm sure there's some that I've missed at some point, so that's another reason that I wanted to do this differently. Uh, the issue is I know not everyone has Twitter, so I don't know what I want to do there. Because the issue is not not everyone even has a YouTube account. You can watch as a guest, but you can't comment, uh, at least as far as I know. So that was kind of the reason that I was getting ones through the Hunter uh, and stuff. So I think there is a YouTube, like, draw uh, from the comments. I'm not sure, but I believe that does exist. So I might check into that. Uh, so, it's not going to be from this video. Uh, I'll probably announce that next week, because uh, I got, it's pretty much the end of the week already at this point, point. Uh, and I got some other stuff I got to work on, so I'll try to get that early next week, uh, and we can try to get something figured out there. I think I hear a second set of footsteps, not just this cow. Yeah, there's definitely something else coming in. Oh, it's another female. She's... Okay. I was going to say she's probably going to spook, but she didn't. There's another female way out there. So yeah. I'm going to try something different for the subscriber hunts for sure. Because, uh, again, with the not being current and everything, I just... I don't know, it's been a problem for a while now, uh, and I think probably the end of this summer is going to be the end of subscriber hunts uh, until the next summer. I can't do them during the school year, it just does not work out well for anybody. Uh, so it's going to be a summer only thing at this point. Uh, and then there's also multiplayer games. That's another way that I like to interact uh, with you guys. So. The issue is, when I host a multiplayer game, my internet is not good. Uh, and unless I'm the only one using my internet, if everyone else is out of the house or asleep, uh, it's fine. But usually what happens uh, is someone or everyone else is here uh, and using the internet. In which case, everybody in my game has incredibly bad ping. It's like up above a thousand uh, often and there's a lot of bugs when that happens uh, people can't get into tree stands they can't get into towers they can't harvest their animals uh, that's just not good and I know I've mentioned this in the past and people say oh, we don't care we just want to be in the game whatever and I, I really do appreciate that first off but it bothers me if nothing else I hate the fact that my internet is the reason that you guys can't enjoy your hunt uh, you know you can't just claim animals you can't use the equipment that I have set up and that really sucks I hate that fact that I just can't host normally so I've thought of a couple of different solutions to that I'm not sure which I'll go with I want to talk to a couple of different people because I've considered having a friend host uh, that I have to check on though oh, I heard something behind us at least it's not I saw a pretty decent stag a while back I'm wondering where he's at that might be what's behind this hill that's why I was wondering I know I'm going back and forth between the hunt and other stuff I want to talk about that just tends to happen I can't focus apparently Ooh, that could have been bad I was almost too far back Apparently this is either a really small stag or probably a female. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to try to figure something else uh, for multiplayer games as well. Uh, I had said that I was going to host this summer, but there's just not a time that I can. I mean, I can host it like 2 o'clock in the morning, but that doesn't work out well really either. Uh, I know some of you guys that are in a different time zone that would work, uh, but even then the ping issue kind of comes into play again because you being far away uh, kind of, oh that's a roger, uh, it kind of puts us in the same place with the high ping and the bugs and stuff, and again I just don't like being the cause of that. 
I really don't. <laughs> it bothers me so much when I'm in a game and I'm getting messages. I can't claim my deer. I can't get in your tree stand. I can't get out of your tree stand. That's never good. I don't like having that happen. So if I can come up with some kind of solution, I'll definitely let you guys know. Maybe I'll put the two together, uh, the subscriber hunt thing and the multiplayer games. I will try to let you guys know what we're going to do for them because uh, I really do like interacting with you guys, getting to interact with the community that's been uh, growing for the past two years. It's really one of the best parts about doing YouTube, getting to actually interact with uh, the people that watch your videos. It's really cool, so hopefully we can get something worked out for that as well. And I know I say that uh, a lot, but I really do want to get something, especially for the summer while I'm uh, actually available uh, and have time to do stuff. Uh, I've got quite an interesting uh, schedule, which I'll talk about later, uh, but we'll definitely try to get something going. But uh, I wanted to say those kind of early in the video because I'm sure not everyone's going to stick around for the entirety of the video, uh, so that's why I said those now and not later on. Uh, I wanted to make sure anybody that is not going to stick around at least heard them uh, so they know what's going on. Of course, that red deer is going to stop there. But yeah, in the past uh, year, uh, since the last anniversary, for lack of a better word, uh, this channel has exploded, as far as I'm concerned, uh, in terms of growth. Uh, it's gone up more than 4,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Uh, last year, when we were around 770, 780, uh, when I did the one year on YouTube video, I never suspect, suspected, expected is the right word, uh, this channel to be at 4,800 something when I'm recording this. Uh, one year later, it's been crazy and I owe all that to you guys once again. Uh, but it's doing YouTube and everything has allowed me to do a lot more that I never would have got to otherwise. Uh, I've gotten to meet a lot of my best friends because of it. Um, through other mutual friends that knew me from YouTube and that kind of thing. Uh, there was actually an interesting story. I met a friend who knew me from YouTube, uh, and we hunted together some, and uh, we got on the same TeamSpeak server. Uh, and the owner of that server, uh, who wasn't on often at the time, but now is, uh, I didn't get to meet him for about a week or so, and we hunted for a few weeks, and we got to be good friends, uh, myself and the owner and everybody else in there, actually. Uh, and then uh, after a couple of weeks, <laughs> the owner of the TeamSpeak came to me and uh, was asking if I did YouTube. And I was like, well, yeah, uh, I guess uh, I do think the mutual friend of ours who introduced me to the TeamSpeak, the first guy that I met through YouTube, uh, did tell him that I did YouTube, but he kind of didn't notice it at first. But it turns out he had actually watched my drop shot guide videos from last summer, uh, and he knew me from there. And that was really cool, getting to meet somebody and knowing somebody that knew me from YouTube and didn't even know it at the time. That was really cool. That was a really cool experience. Uh, just like the fact that we knew each other, and apparently we sort of met. Obviously, we didn't physically meet, but... He knew my videos and uh, stuff from a year almost, probably 10 months before we ever actually spoke, which that's crazy to me. That's really cool. That's another really cool thing about YouTube that uh, it happens. I've gotten to meet uh, a lot of people through YouTube. DD33 I'd have never met, uh, at least not like through voice chat. Uh, without YouTube. I hunted, I do recall hunting in his multiplayer games before either of us did YouTube, uh, but uh, we met through a mutual friend which was from YouTube as well. Uh, so a lot of people that I hunt with now, a lot of people that I know, uh, that all is because of doing YouTube and because of that one non-typical that I decided to record two years ago. It's just, uh, every time I think of it, it's just crazy. <laughs> But yeah, it's been a really fun journey. Uh, I can't wait to see where the future uh, takes us. It looks as if uh, it's going to be fun because 
I've got a lot planned for this summer that hopefully we can pull off. Uh, and there's a couple of other things that I can't talk about just yet uh, that hopefully that can come to fruition as well. Uh, but as I just said, I can't say what that is just yet. But uh, I mentioned my sleep schedule. I'm basically living my dream right now, which is doing YouTube essentially full time. Uh, I'm not working uh, this summer. The hours that I was getting were not worth it. Uh, I would get like a two hour shift and it's a total of an hour driving. So that's making practically nothing uh, at that point. So I decided not to work. I would just uh, make YouTube videos and see where that takes us. So basically my schedule right now, I am going to bed around 10 in the morning uh, and I'm waking up at like 6 p.m. And what I'm doing is I'll stay up all night, I'll go turkey hunting, and then I'll come home and record a video. So it is 9.30 right now. I have not yet gone to bed, uh, and I really like doing this. So apparently like a third of the population, the human population, has this gene that makes you nocturnal. I'm pretty sure I have that. Naturally, I stay up really late. Even if I'm super tired, I'll just stay up later anyway. Uh, so I really like doing it this way, and it really seems like it makes days just last a lot longer, which that's a good thing during the summer for sure. Uh, so I'm getting to go turkey hunting, which I tend to sleep past if uh, if I'm not staying up. I'll often just sleep in and uh, skip for the day, but staying up through... I can go turkey hunting, I can come home and record videos, and then once turkey season's over or once I fill my tags, uh, I can then just uh, stay up and then I can just record a video. Uh, when my siblings are going to be here for the summer, that's what I'm going to do. I'll be recording pretty much while they're still asleep, uh, which that way I don't have to wake anybody up. My parents will already be at work, uh, so we'll be all good there. If I wake up my brother and sister, they can go back to bed. It's the summer, so that I'm not a big, uh, that I'm not concerned about. Uh, so, hello there. I was expecting a red deer to walk up over the hill. <laughs> we got this road here. So yeah, that's been really fun. I've just started that schedule uh, four or five days ago, and I'm loving it. Uh, it's, I feel like a lot more energized and stuff as well. It just fits me a lot better than the normal schedule that I am on for like school and stuff so yeah I really like doing that uh, and again that may possibly tie in with something that I can't talk about yet uh, so I don't know why I just said that but I thought of it and then I realized I couldn't say it so I don't really know we're around 20 minutes into this video maybe not quite uh, I don't necessarily plan on this taking the whole 30 minutes like I do for a normal uncut video because uh, I've pretty much mentioned everything that I wanted to say. Uh, it's been a blast these last two years, uh, and hopefully we can continue for many more. I want to kill this roe deer, and probably that red stag, the little guy. Oh, never mind. That's definitely going to spook him. Yeah, I see him running. All right. Don't see any other movement at the moment. We'll grab all of our kills. How many shots did we take? 11, so I'm going to try to keep count so I know we claimed everything. I guess it doesn't matter waiting for the score to calculate on a female. I do have to go get the, uh, the roe deer buck that we shot and then that one that we just shot now. Uh, the female. Hopefully we got lungs on the female. I thought it was a perfect shot, so... Should be good there as far as tracking. I was surprised how far that male ran, because I thought we made a good shot on him. Maybe there was... Uh, maybe it was a bit low, because I aimed for 20 meters and he was at 25-ish. This stag's probably in the area of 215, 220. 217. Not too bad. Where do we shoot that road here at? Intestines, really. 
That's surprising. I thought it was... Uh, I didn't think it was that far back that it would have hit the intestines. We just spooked that uh, red deer stag again. I saw him on the left. She's dead out here in the water. I'm keeping my eyes open because I saw like a 240-ish red deer stag. Which I would not at all be opposed to trying to take. Liver intestine. That looks like a long shot to me, but I guess it was a bit too far back. So we've got the bear over there on my marker, and we've got this road your buck to go grab. Hopefully we hit him fairly well. Like I said, I thought it was good, but apparently it wasn't. Evidently we've got a red deer female hanging out over here. Can't see her, but I'm not all that concerned. Where was he stuck at, actually? It was here, or... Oh, it was right here. I didn't realize there were other brown bear tracks here. I'm surprised they didn't uh, show up. I never did see them. I crawled all the way in because I had that red deer trailing me like the whole way. Uh, I was trying to call him in so we could uh, take him during the hunt. I was trying to call in the other one too and he made it fairly far. I don't know what happened to him. He may have spooked for all I know. This may have been a body shot. I still wouldn't expect him to run too far. Then we gotta run back and get that brown bear, but... Oh, that's intestines. How did we get intestines at that angle? That must have been quite a lucky shot, or unlucky shot, I guess. Is that him there? Yeah. He didn't run very far at all after we stopped watching him. Hip bone intestine. I don't know how we did that. Alright, so we just got the bear to grab. I might, since we're going to be over there, see if I can get eyes on that bigger stag. Uh, I'll spend a minute or two doing that. Our bear is right there. So as I said in the, uh, the last uncut video we did on Red Feather... I can't drop bears as easily as I used to. I definitely think something's changed because uh, I really, unless I'm using a crossbow, I do not drop them uh, anymore unless I get lucky, I guess. Or if I'm shooting them straight on, I can tend to get them through the neck bone still. But uh, when I'm shooting them broadside, I tend to get body or single lung or intestine quite often. So... Not sure what's up with that. I'll have to do some more experimenting. It looks like we did catch this bear in the lung, though. I just realized <laughs> those bear tracks that I mentioned back there are probably from this one. We hadn't yet claimed them, so obviously the tracks were still there. So that other red deer was just over here across the water. So we'll check for him and then... We'll wrap it up. We hit probably lung liver then. I'm surprised he made it this far. Because we've got intestines and lung blood. Uh, and I don't know. We may have caught lung stomach, I guess. I think the bear's anatomy's a bit strange. Right lung, stomach, intestine. Not too bad. 24.3 score. I don't know what the chances are of us actually finding that red deer, at least in a timely manner, but he was standing right over here, and I was calling him in. That's definitely not him. Not his tracks, I mean. I have the 4570, so I can't shoot these running road deer. I'm not seeing him. And at least he wasn't like a 260 uh, or bigger. I know he was a 240 from the score estimate. Uh, so we're not missing out on an absolute trophy. Uh, and rather than run around for the next who knows how long. And okay, that's just a shadow. Uh, and probably not find him anyway. 
I think we'll just end it here. So again, thank you so much for an amazing two years uh, and for all the support of the channel throughout those two years. It has been fantastic. I really do appreciate everything you guys have done for me. Uh, it has been life-changing, uh, quite literally. Uh, I went from playing this game on an old laptop sitting on my couch uh, to having a big monitor, a pretty nice gaming PC, uh, and my desk up in my room. Uh, so it's been quite a big change, and again, I owe that to you guys. So thank you so much for that. And with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. See you in the next one.